Welcome to Boston. It's the cradle of liberty. And it's also the home of my favorite book, Make Way for Ducklings. So go ahead and check out the ducks in the park. And while you're thinking about taking advantage of all the wonderful things there are in Boston, don't forget the real reason why we're here. It's because we have over 9,000 technical papers to talk about nanotechnology and health and wellness. This year, we really focused in our new annual report on the value of the American Chemical Society to our members. And what I love about this annual report is that we had real members telling their stories about what they liked about the American Chemical Society. We have people telling their stories, why they're excited about the American Chemical Society, the value that it has brought to them in their careers. This is great reading. It's better than a novel. Well, uh, the ACS uh, is giving me this forum to interact with peers. It's giving me a place where I can improve my skills. It's giving me a, a place where I can learn about science. The board, along with the Budget and Finance Committee several years ago, began a systematic plan for how to assess the effectiveness of programs of the society at meeting the society goals and moving us in our strategic direction. That program review process then allows us to do a couple of different things. It tells us which programs are most effective, which programs have good metrics, and you can clearly see what the desired outcome is and whether or not you've achieved it. One of the things that the American Chemical Society does very well is that it's creating several mentoring programs so as to make it not be an accidental uh, situation when you find a mentor. Part of my commitment to you as members was to give science and technology and you, the members of the American Chemical Society, a recognizable face and a significant voice on Capitol Hill. And to that end, I've been very pleased to represent you in congressional testimony. And it was so exciting to be there and to give testimony on your behalf and to see that testimony reflected in the final legislation. I went this February during Contact Congress Week. I led a group of six Minnesota chemists uh, in an afternoon of visits to our congressional offices and our senators' offices. I'm really excited about our new web unveiling. The website will launch at the end of September, but everyone at this meeting will have an opportunity to preview the new web at the 627 in the Boston Convention and Exposition Center. I hope everyone will come down to the center and see how exciting it is to find information easily, quickly, and without any fuss. Our new search engine is absolutely dynamite. The new website is all about in helping people with their careers and helping advance the chemistry enterprise. And that, after all, is about our vision, improving people's lives through the transforming power of chemistry. One of the rewards of being a chemist in 2007 is the fact that we have an opportunity to contribute a meaningful solution to many of society's problems. The problems that chemistry has an opportunity to solve relate to global climate change, relate to toxins in the environment, relate to ozone depletion. The Board of Directors is a really exciting and stimulating group of people to work with because each of the members of the board brings a lot of talent and a lot of energy and commitment to the table. And I think the most challenging and rewarding part of being chairman of the board is the engagement of all of those talents to come to really well-aligned goals for the organization and then the planning and execution of those goals. I've also found that by being engaged in leadership and governance with ACS, I've had a chance to grow a lot of my abilities. My first ACS National Committee was the Younger Chemist Committee, which is an extremely dynamic group of people under age 35 who work at a national level to provide programs of interest to younger chemists and make ACS relevant to them, involve them in profession, and integrate them into the ACS. Very dynamic group. They love doing programs. They've got the highest energy level at, at any national meeting.